Just hours before our report on neo-Nazis last night, their leader, Thomas Sewell, and another man turned up at Channel 9 in Melbourne. While being escorted out, he attacked a security guard and punched him multiple times. Today, Sewell ranted in an interview with Seb Costello, who told him if he wanted to put his case, he should hand himself in to police. He's coming out again. I see it, bro. Past the adrenaline line. You're feeling past the adrenaline line. I don't care what, what you do. Which line is that? Past that adrenaline line right over there. That white line? You can go up there and go. Not yet. All right. Yeah, so now he's acting dance, like monkey. monkey. Dance. dance. Watch yourself, bro. Right, like Another dance monkey. Like Watch yourself. Touch me. The man you've just seen here hovering above our security guard is self-described white power leader Thomas Sewell. This afternoon, I spoke with Mr Sewell, and while there is an argument to deny a person like that a platform, we ultimately decided that to do so would give him more ammunition to increase his notoriety. Tonight, you'll see our conversation, although we have chosen to remove some of Mr Sewell's more offensive comments. Do you have anything to say to the man who spent the night in hospital last night as a result of the altercation between the two of you? Well, I have some questions to ask you. Was that actually a security guard? Do you have anything to say to the man who spent the night in well, hospital last night? It's a very simple night? question. It's a very simple question, Seb. Yeah. Was that actually a security guard because sure. he wasn't licensed? And the question I'm asking is, do you have anything to say to it? Well, what do I have to say about the matter? I'm sure it will go to court, but it's very obvious that you guys, I've watched your show for a long time. I watched it growing up. It's very obvious that you guys are bullies. For the record, the man is a qualified security guard. Let's try again with Mr Sewell. OK, last opportunity. Do you have anything to say to the man who's in hospital? Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely do. This individual attacked our cameraman. He lost his temper. He's unprofessional. He attacked our cameraman, and I used lawful force to stop this person from further attacking and crushing that person's windpipe. Never mind that Mr Sewell doesn't mention that both him and his colleague were asked to leave on multiple occasions by the security guard. Please leave the building, OK? Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. you got to leave the building, bro. Seriously, I'm telling you right now, bro. Leave the building, OK? I'm telling you right now. Get your hands up. All right? Leave the building. And that the violence was preceded by a racially charged slur. So dance, like monkey, monkey, dance. Watch yourself, bro. Like I'm not a dance monkey. monkey. Watch yourself. The police would like to speak to you. Have you spoken to Victoria Police today? Victoria Police has not called me or contacted me at all. But police have made a public appeal, urging anyone with information to come forward. We'd encourage you to make contact with them. Will you make contact with police? I, I will happily speak to police. I have truth, fears, no investigation. I have absolutely nothing to hide. Last night's incident occurred in the hours before a current affair aired an investigation on Sewell and his group, the National Socialist Network, part of a growing number of white supremacist organisations operating in Australia. It's a much more serious threat now than it was even four years ago. Uh, it has the potential to wreck families, to recruit teenagers, Dr Greg Barton is a terror and radicalisation expert at Deakin University. Dr Barton, it's important we call this out rather than promote it. So how do we frame discussions about Thomas Sewell and his beliefs? It's tricky and we're always going to be struggling with this. Uh, this is pathetic bullying behaviour. It's narcissistic. It's the sign of, you know, it's the, it's the product of, of weak individuals desperately wanting attention. Let's compare the two parties involved here. On the one hand, there's Thomas Sewell, sought by police after this incident that followed the uttering of a racially charged slur. On the other hand, there's the man who spent last night in hospital, who's a dad who moved his kids to the suburbs of Melbourne after he himself grew up in the Caribbean. And when he's not working here as a popular member of building security, he's working part-time on his small business. Now ask yourself, which one of those sounds more Australian to you? Well, what we saw last night was hatred, pure and simple. We saw the beast of Nazi ideology unleashed on a poor guard simply doing his job. 
Dr. Devere Abramovich is the chair of the Anti-Defamation Commission, a group that fights anti-Semitism. He says that last night is evidence that Sewell's group should be banned by Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton. I am willing to stand shoulder to shoulder with Minister Dutton when he announces that the National Socialist Network is a white supremacist terrorist group. The security guard is on the improve. He left hospital after speaking with detectives and spent the morning with his children. Mr Sewell is still yet to speak with police today. Our office has been in touch with Victoria Police today. We'll be handing over that entire interview with Sewell to them.